Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. It's lovely to see you again as usual. And it's the 2nd of December. How did that happen? I just don't know where the year is gone. But today I've got for you this wonderful gooey chocolate cake or lava cake or self-saucing cake, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, it's a very rich, springy, fluffy chocolate cake and a wonderful pool of chocolate sauce underneath. I don't know how it works. It just does. I saw this in my BBC Good Food magazine and I just knew I had to give it a go. So I'm going to be using some milk. I've also got a, an egg which I'm going to beat. You'll need some drinking chocolate or some hot chocolate or even some cocoa some butter, some brown sugar, some vanilla, some self-raising flour and some caster sugar. But if you don't have caster sugar, you can use ordinary white granulated sugar. So grab your slow cooker and set this to high. I always like to heat up my slow cooker and I do recommend you do that for about 15 minutes before you use it. Now you want to grease this well because it's going to stop your cake sticking to your bowl. Just use some, you know, some butter and go round. You don't need to use much. Just make sure it's well greased. Now we're going to get the cake batter together. So into your bowl, pop your sugar, followed by your sifted self-raising flour. Do make sure that's sifted just so there are no lumps or anything in there. To that, we're going to melt 90 grams of butter. Just pop that into your microwave and melt it in a sort of low temperature. A couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract. Use whatever kind you like, or you could even use a vanilla pod if you prefer. A couple of tablespoons of hot chocolate. Use a nice sweet hot chocolate because this cake isn't overly sweet. So if you use cocoa, you know, it's going to be quite bitter and quite strong so I would always use drinking chocolate then the rest of your ingredients and then your brown sugar I've just used some brown soft sugar and I'm just going to start it off with a fork and then give it a good beat and whisk with my whisk and you'll end up with something like this you'll have a wonderful smooth puddingy cake batter so go back over to your slow cooker and you just want to dump your cake batter into the middle of your slow cooker but do it quite gently because you want to sort of smooth the top off because the magic is going to happen next. And I don't know how this works. I've no idea. But wait till you see. <laughs> the last thing we're going to do is mix together another wee bit of brown sugar and some more of your hot chocolate. Give it a good fork together. Sprinkle that over the top. And the last thing we're going to do is put some boiling water over the top of this. Now, try and do it over the back of a spoon because you want it nice and even over the top you know if you just pour this on top it will not work so you want a nice even layer over the top so you've got about two cups there and again all of these measurements will be in the description box underneath now you'll be looking at that thinking how the heck is this going to turn into a fluffy chocolate cake and syrup or you know the, the lovely chocolate sauce underneath wait till you see cook this in high for between an hour and a half and two hours you'll know it's ready when you touch the top and it's you know the cake springs back and it's nice and springy just like I'm showing you there. You're going to think this looks incredibly dry and it hasn't worked. <laughs> but see, when you spin your cake, I wait till you see this. I'm just going to run a knife around the edge there just to sort of loosen it off. But you can already see that lava underneath. So grab yourself a spoon, quite a big spoon. Scoop out some of your cake and look how light and fluffy and moist that is. I just cannot go over this. This is the first time I've done this and it will not be the last time either, let me tell you. Because if you're not a baker, you know, if you don't, you know, into making cakes and things and worried about the whole oven thing, this completely takes that away. And if you're having this on Christmas Day, you know, you can have this going in the background while you're getting on with everything else that you need to do on Christmas Day. And when you're ready to serve, this is ready for you. And just look at that beautiful chocolate sauce underneath. Now, like I said, I've no idea how the water ends up going from the top to underneath and creating this lovely sauce with that sort of moist, fluffy sponge on the top. What kind of wizardry is this? <laughs> Some kind of witchcraft. I've no idea, but, you know, it does. It's just wonderful. And if you do like a rich chocolate cake, I don't think you can go wrong with this. But like I said, it's not an overly sweet cake. 
So if you could obviously add a wee bit more sugar, but I would always recommend use a nice sweet drinking chocolate for the powdered chocolate element. Because if you do use cocoa powder, it's going to be very dark and probably quite bitter. So I've just popped this into a bowl with some lovely vanilla ice cream and see the combination of the two of these. It was just wonderful. I just had a, I had a wee portion. I had about half of this amount, but yeah, I just loved it. And when the ice cream melts and it mingles with that chocolate sauce, off. Oh my goodness. And just before I move on and leave you, I wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And I still haven't got round to updating those lists, but I will make that my priority this weekend. So don't forget to get involved in that giveaway as well, because that will be ending fairly soon. So yeah, that's just a few videos back. If you haven't entered already, go and check that one out. And if you're not following me over on Instagram yet, I'm what's for t 3 over there and it'll be lovely to see you. So hopefully I'll catch up with you during the week or even back on Sunday for meals of the week or back on Friday for my wee shopping haul. But whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe and bye for now. Bye now.